Good morning, everybody. Um, as Matt, Mike has already introduced me. I'm Eve O'Brien from the Athenry Maths Academy, the dreaded Grimes teacher. Um, over the years, I've seen many students and helped many students. And when I tell people I've been involved with Mike and Alison in launching free online maths grinds, you're crazy. You're doing yourself out of business. Why would you do that? Um, I think it's an excellent resource. There's only so many grinds that students can afford, parents can afford. Um, there's only so many hours in a week that a grinds teacher can give to a student, and only so much you can cover within an hour. What we have here is something that I can give to students, send them to, they can fill themselves in in the background, and come to me then with additional problems. Um, so Mike asked me to speak today because of personal experience with a particular student. Um, Gavin would be really weak at maths, as his own admission, uh, would have done ordinary level for junior cert and isn't even sure whether he passed it or not. So I've been struggling with Gavin on a weekly basis and again, an hour will only do so much for Gavin. He walked into my classroom a week before last and said to me, could we cover the sine and cosine rule today? I was completely taken aback. I said, okay, sure Gavin, no problem. Um, we sat through, we did sine, cos, tan. He's doing the ordinary level leaving cert. He knew exactly what he was doing. He knew who Pythagoras was and what to do with it. Uh, I was flabbergasted. Uh, we then moved on to problems with the sine and the cosine rule. And OK, he struggled on some of them, but he knew what he was about. Now, bear in mind that Gavin struggled with the basic moving something over the equal to sine and changing it from minus to plus the previous week. I was shocked. So I asked him, I said, Gavin, who's been helping you? Have you had a teacher take you aside in school? Has he been helping you? What's happened? He said, no, Alison, I finally listened to you. I went on to Alison and I did my course on trigonometry. You told me you were covering it next week. And he came in, he knew what he was about and he had pertinent questions. And his mock paper too went and he, it went well for him. His trigonometry went well for him. He said he enjoys the site, he can sit, he can look at the video again and again and again until he gets it. That's for Gavin's end of things, and it's really brought him on. There's the other end of things. I have a first cousin. She's excellent at maths. She has never asked for my help all through her years. She's going to sit her higher level leaving her this year. I asked her, would she go on and have a look at the site and see what somebody from that end of the spectrum would think of it? She was delighted with it. She said she just picked a topic at random. It wasn't much for her. <coughs> she said, I'll have a look. So she looked at geometry, and she said she actually learned something. She said it taught her how to look at something from a different view to think about a problem from a different way. So I was delighted. I really didn't think Sarah was going to get anything from it. She is excellent. She, I think she surpasses me when it comes to maths and her knowledge of it, and she's only at leaving cert level. So I was delighted for her. Um, and it'll work for everyone in between. As Mike said in his part, there was an awful lot of maths content on the web. The problem was, for students, you could spend hours looking and trying to find something that's of any use to you, that is aligned with your Irish syllabus, um, and that is the required standard, I suppose, that is any good. The maths doctor is just excellent content. You just, I just don't, I haven't come across anything on the web that's up to its standards, so my congratulations to them. What Mike has done is brought it all together and the one you, as a student, can go in and click on your topic, sit there, learn it from the bottom up, or review it, and it really does work. So I hope you enjoy using it. I, I, my tagline to my students is go home, you know at nine o'clock at night when you've finished the homework, you really don't feel like doing something, but mommy's at you to go upstairs and do a bit. You can go up and log on to Alison and sit in front of a video. You don't really feel like you're studying, but something is going in. So enjoy it. Thanks, Mike.